Cravings are an issue that comes up with any dietary change. This is the result of a combination of pure habit and some primordial physiology. Participants in Dr. Shintani's 10-day program say that their cravings are much easier to control after following the diet for several days. He explained it this way. Before I started a vegetarian diet when I was 26 years old, I used to like to take my dates to a steakhouse. I happened to know one of the singers who entertained there and I wanted to impress my date that I had connections. I used to start off with a small salad with a lot of thousand island dressing on it. Then I would order a 12 ounce prime rib well done with baked potato and dinner rolls. I would slather the potato in butter and sprinkle it with salt and I would eat several rolls also well buttered. This could easily add up to close to 2,500 calories and be nearly as many calories as I needed for the whole day. The interesting thing is that even after eating all that, I still craved ice cream. Modern science can't really explain why a person who has had that many calories would still crave more food. There's a surprisingly simple and useful explanation for this phenomenon from the macrobiotic approach to dietary recommendations. Macrobiotics is a word used by Hippocrates, meaning long macro life bios. The founder of macrobiotics, George Oshawa, adopted this word to describe his philosophy of life and healing which is based on Chinese medicine principles as practiced in Japan with a major emphasis on food as a pathway to health and happiness. Osawa's greatest student and proponent was Micho Kushi who was my teacher. Part of understanding of macrobiotics is appreciating the ever-changing balance between yin and yang, the two major energies in the physical manifestation of the world. Yin is the female, soft, and expansive energy of things. Yang is the male, firm, and contractive energy of things. Yin attracts yang, and yang attracts yin. Food has these characteristics as well. Salt, meat, and baked goods are foods that are very young in nature. Fruits, sweets, dairy, and alcohol are yin in nature. So when one eats a lot of food that is young in nature, craving yin is a natural result despite getting enough calories. Thus, from this perspective, eating lots of meat and salt causes craving of sweets and alcohol. So, it is obvious that eating a steak will induce the desire for dessert and a drink. Science hasn't really caught up with these concepts because cravings are a really difficult thing to measure. However, in my program, people consistently say that their cravings are much easier to handle after changing their diet. Some of this occurs because the diet is full of nutrients and support good health and so there is no starving for missing nutrients. Some of it may be explained by some ancient concepts of the energy of food. It makes sense that in the peace diet, the extremes of yin and yang foods are eliminated and a balance in the food is more easily achieved. Meat, animal products, salt, and baked goods are limited as well as sugar, dairy, and alcohol. As a result, an easy balance is formed and cravings are diminished. Of course, some cravings come up at a point or another in everyone. This is where the SMY becomes useful. For example, if you crave something sweet, instead of grabbing a cookie or a piece of candy, choose a piece of fruit or a slice of sweet potato. Also, incorporate some sweet vegetables such as squash or carrots into your cooking. If you crave for salty, Instead of potato chips, try some garbanzo beans. Rinse off the salty water that they are packed in. They are like boiled peanuts but with much less fat. I like Eden brand for the beans that they pack in seaweed water which would provide for some trace minerals to be in it. Also, some brown rice flavored with seaweed sprinkles or Bragg's liquid aminos would be a good choice. In any case, Choosing foods that are higher on the SMI scale will help you to make choices that will help you deal with cravings and still control your weight. 
To know more about how to be in control of your body and promote peace in it, grab a copy of Dr. Shintani's Peace Diet book. The Peace Diet recommends the following. Eat according to the peace plate. Eat foods that are higher on the SMI scale. Eat according to the season and to your locality. Chew your food well. Slow down or stop eating 80% full. Don't eat within 3 hours of going to bed. Eat for balance in order to curb cravings. Remember the 8 enhancements to the peace diet.